Today, I'm going to be talking about 10 items that I take with me on almost every photography trip. Now, these aren't your typical photography items, such as lenses, tripods, filters, that kind of thing. You could argue, actually, that these items have nothing to do with photography, but I think they actually have everything to do with photography. So we'll start with item number one, which is this, my pocket journal. Now, when I go away on a photography trip, particularly on an airplane or long driving distances in my van, I like a notebook. Now, I keep notebooks everywhere. They're strewn all over the place. Half the time, I can't find the notebooks where I scribbled down my ideas weeks earlier. So I just wanted one nice notebook. This is the one by Lockby, the pocket journal. It comes in a beautiful canvas pouch with a little space at the front for a pen. You unzip it and you have your notebook inside, which is beautiful paper. I'm not sure what you call this paper, but it's it's like little, little dots. Very nice for writing neatly. And as well as that, there are storage compartments inside where I keep my receipts. So when I'm traveling, I need to file my receipts and this is just the perfect place to store them. It's waterproof, it's lightweight, and it will stop my notebook getting damaged. And also, it's just a beautiful thing. Therefore, I look after it much more, keep it with me, and know exactly where it is. You could say I'm forming an attachment to it, which is nice because that encourages me to write more, to make more notes, and that is perfect for anyone in a creative business or industry. Next on the list is this little fella. This is my new wallet, believe it or not. Now, before you click off the video or click to the next item, bear with me. This is my old wallet. It's big, it's heavy, it's chunky. And when I'm out in my van on a photography trip, I don't like leaving my wallet locked in the van. So I'll get it and I'll put it in my pocket, but it's so big and bulky, I wanted a more minimalist solution. So I got this, a Trove wallet. It's beautifully designed, has nice leather and this kind of elastic material. It can hold seven cards and it has space for some emergency cash as well. Now, I was worried that I wouldn't be able to fit all of the items from old Big Bertha inside of the Trove wallet, but it does, it all fits beautifully. It can hold seven cards, and when I'm traveling or just out and about, it's all you need. Now, the beauty of this is that when you slide this into your pocket or your bag, you don't even know it's there. Uh, unlike this, which sticks out like a sore thumb. So I thought I would include this just because it's one of, having a really small <laughs> minimalist wallet is one of those things that you'll never appreciate until you've tried it. Now, that, there we go. And it's, it's a beautiful thing as well. So I would definitely recommend this little wallet. Now, if you go camping, you are gonna want one of these. This is a gas refill adapter. So you know when you're camping and you have your little camping gas canisters for your jet boils or your camping stove? I use them in my van. Well, you'll know how annoying it is when those things start to run out, the flame dies down, it takes 20 minutes to boil your water, and then you take it off, you put a new one on, and then you got the old one, and it's still half, it's still half full with gas. That is annoying, and this solves the problem. This will transfer the gas from one half empty gas canister into another half empty gas canister, and hey presto, you have a brand new full gas canister. Next on the list is my Swiss Army knife. This is the Swiss Champ. It's basically the full fat version that has pretty much every tool you can imagine, including a set of pliers, a magnifying glass, endless tools, scissors, and a hook. The hook comes in really handy, actually. Now, this was a gift from my parents for my birthday, and since then, I can't believe that I've lived my entire life without a Swiss army knife upon my person. I take this with me everywhere I go. Comes in handy for so, so many tasks. Now, the negative of this one is that it's quite big and heavy, so it doesn't really fit in your pocket, or it's not practical to put in a, a small bag, like a chest bag or something like that. So I just keep this attached to my belt. Obviously not when traveling through airports, it goes in my suitcase, but keeping this on my belt, it's just, Fantastic, you don't know it's there, and like I say, it comes in handy for everything. Now, the great thing about the Swiss Army Knife is it's a legal carry in the UK. It has a blade less than three inches, and it doesn't lock, which means it is legal to carry. 
Another great thing about the Swiss Army knife is it's non-threatening. So you can pull this out pretty much anywhere and you can begin to fix your thing. And no one is gonna be worried about the man wielding a knife. They're just gonna see it's a Swiss Army knife and not bat an eyelid. Next up is a beer from the sponsor of this video, which is Beer 52. If you enjoy beer and you live in the UK, well, you can get a case of 10 beers for free, and all you have to do is pay the postage cost of £5.95. Now, to get those beers, go to beer52.com forward slash Heaton, and you will get 10 beers from Asia. These are beers that you can't get anywhere in this country, so they're very exclusive. So this collection features beers from China, Japan, Taiwan, and Vietnam. I believe that this one, the Ugly Half Beer, an IPA, is from Taiwan. Never had a beer from Taiwan, so uh, yeah. Certainly looking forward to this one. So as well as all of those beers, you get a selection of snacks and you also get a magazine which gives you all of the information about the different breweries which feature in this collection of beers. Now here's the great thing, 5 dollars postage gets you 10 beers plus snacks and if you're not happy, you can either pause or cancel your subscription at any time. So essentially that's 10 amazing beers plus snacks for $5.95. So again, this offer is only applicable to my viewers who are over the age of 18 and from the UK. So go to beer52, that's beer52.com forward slash Heaton and get your case of 10 beers for only $5.95 postage. This is the Chipola Wallet Finder. It's a credit card size gadget that works just like an Apple AirTag. However, this one works with Android phones. I'm an Android user, not an iPhone user, and I'm forever jealous of those people with AirTags in their photography camera bags and in their travel luggage, and I wanted a solution. So up until a couple of months ago, there was no solution, but now there is. Now I've been testing this extensively over the past few weeks, and it's okay. It's not great. It's not as good as the AirTag. I believe that an AirTag needs to ping off one iPhone, bang, there's your location. Whereas Android, it needs to ping off many, many devices. I don't know the exact number, but I think it could be 10, 20, or even 30 devices. So what that means is unless your card is in a high traffic area, you're not gonna get the location. So this is not reliable for putting in your camera bag if somebody was to steal it. However, I use this for tracking my suitcase because I have lots of important items that I need for my suitcase, tripods, warm clothing, all of that kind of thing. And if the suitcase goes missing, the photography trip is ruined. So this gives you that peace of mind. And I have to say it worked very well, but it only worked well because my suitcase was going from airport to airport and it was beneath an aeroplane, which is high traffic areas, lots of Android devices within range. So it worked most of the time and it showed me that my bag had made it to my destination, which was a big relief. However, I wouldn't rely on this if like my bag was stolen or I'd left my bag behind so, like in a woodland or something where there was very low traffic because it wouldn't work. It would not ping you your location, unlike an AirTag, which most likely would. Still though, for £35 with a two year battery life and then a 50% discount after two years on your next one, it's definitely worth having for those Android users. And who knows, the technology might improve and they might start to ping off less and less devices and become more accurate. This is a hero clip. Essentially, it's a carabiner with a twist that it folds out into a hook. Now the reason I purchased this is because I'm about to go on a photography road trip in my van and I am forever looking for ways to hang things like hanging towels, hanging jackets, hanging camera bags and this little gadget seemed like a great solution. Now I took this with me recently on my travels through the airport and actually came in really handy <laughs> for hanging my bag off the toilet door when the floor was absolutely disgusting and I didn't want to put my bag down on the floor and there was no hooks. So I hung this over the toilet door, hung my bag off it, hey presto, job done. Now I imagine this would work excellent in the field if you wanted to hang your bag, but it was raining so you didn't want to get your bag wet on the wet, muddy floor. You can find a tree or a fence post and hang things. But generally, it's cheap enough, small enough, and lightweight enough for you to keep this in your kind of everyday carry bag, and it will come in handy for many things. 
Next up is my Nightcore NB 10,000 milliamp power bank. So this, well, is a 10,000 milliamp power bank. But the reason I got this one and the reason I think it's quite cool is because it's so lightweight and small. It's only 150 grams. It's 12 centimeters by six centimeters by one centimeter. So it's great for traveling, slipping in your pocket or your everyday carry bag and you won't even realize it's there. It has a USB 2 port and a USB C port and it also allows for trickle charging if you're charging some low power items such as headphones. The main draw for me though was the fact that it's just so compact and lightweight. So again, you're not carrying around a big heavy battery. The final item is my everyday carry bag, the bag which carries all of the items you've seen with the exception of my Swiss Army knife, which goes on my belt. And this is the Fjall Raven High Coast. It can be worn as a chest bag like this or as a traditional bum bag. Personally, I prefer the bum bag approach, but this will hold everything. In the front, there's a nice little pocket which I will keep my power bank and a small charging cable. The main compartment is a decent size with a key clip and a little bit of internal organization with this mesh net. In here, typically when traveling, I will keep my pocket journal. My wallets will slip in there. Of course, my keys go in. My passport. I can keep my carabiner clip on one of the webbing loops or if I choose to, I can also just slip that nicely inside. If somebody was to steal this or grab it off the table, well, inside would be a card finder. And then there is also a pocket on the back which will hold my Android phone, which is a good sized phone. So there's plenty of space in here. It's a great bag, it's stylish. It's not waterproof, so I wouldn't trust it in the rain. And also a bit of a negative, it's so expensive, man. I paid 55 pounds, 55 pounds for a bum bag. But apparently as my wife tells me, that's just what things cost these days. I don't know, in my day you could buy a whole rucksack for 55 pounds. But I do like the color and it's just the perfect size for all of my little items when traveling through the airport or stowing it in my van so I can quick, quickly grab something that has everything I need in it. Um, and yeah, I love it, it's fantastic and it's so much better than having things stuffed in your pockets. Now, all of the items are linked below. Some of them are affiliate links, which means I get a commission if you buy through those links, but it doesn't cost you anything more. So it's great to support the channel, but actually the easiest and best way to support the channel is simply by giving this video a like if you enjoyed it. Right, cheers guys. I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching.